Okay, so this is the first video in um, the new little series I'm going to put on JK Wrangler Forum. Um, basically, I'm doing the wheels and tires. I've got a 20 inch by 9.5 inch moto wheel um, with a 35 inch uh, tread right mud claw uh, tire. I'll take you down and show the wheels. Some of you have already seen these uh, from my post of rebuilding the motor. But, um, this is the wheel I'm going with. It's a zero offset. Uh, so it works real good. It sticks out about, I don't know, it stuck out about an inch out of the stock uh, fenders, which I'm uh, replacing with these. Uh, oh, and by the way, this, uh, this whole build is uh, budget built. So it uh, shows some people out there that Maybe you don't have it all right now, or maybe you just want the look, and you know uh, you're not willing to spend six grand in aftermarket upgrades just to get this look. So these, uh, this set of four, I got for four hundred and forty-nine dollars off of eBay delivered, uh, which is awesome. And it's the Moto Wheel, Moto Metal Wheel, um, and then these are the uh, flat fenders. They're actually really nice. Um, putting these on will allow me to run the 35s. Uh, without a lift, which is what I'm doing right now. So I got this uh, set for 128 uh, delivered off of eBay. Um, yeah, and they look real nice. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I got uh, a set of side steps that are on their way. They'll come in later this week, and I'll just kind of update as I'm doing this throughout the week. Um, I just took the, the old fenders off. And it's really not that hard actually. Uh, I know some people are probably opposed to it, but you can basically grab a corner and just yank real hard and the fucking the whole thing will come off. So uh, I also got a uh, gas cap cover here. You know, just extra little set of bling or something. Uh, I just like the look of it uh, with the little door. Um, uh, I got this hitch. This was 50, like right 54 bucks delivered. And it just mounts up. Uh, under your stock bumper and you basically you take your wheels off make it easier but you take these two bolts off right here um, and then you got two more bolts down under All right you got one right here and you got one right here and this whole bumper will just slide up out of your way so that you can install this and it's just four bolts to go through there so I'll show it when it's done but it's really simple and I didn't I really didn't want to spend the 300 bucks or whatever is going to be on a, a whole new rear bumper right now uh, I may do that in the future uh, front bumper um, as you can see it isn't on right now but I'm going to do the uh, what someone consider the stubby mod we're just kind of cutting the end off and kind of putting a little cap on it I got a uh, Angry Bird grill uh, for 50 to 59 bucks delivered. Uh, LED headlights uh, tinted. Uh, those were 44 delivered. Um, I'm going to detail this out today, but it's also right side drive. Um, I just replaced, or I, I should say, I rebuilt the engine in this one. At least uh, new rod and main bearings and uh, piston rings. Um, and uh, it's got 280,000 miles on it, but it seems to be driving pretty good now. And the trans was um, somewhat rebuilt uh, a year ago. Uh, well, at least I found a sticker on the side of the transmission that said it had been remanufactured using Mopar parts. So um, the fluid was really nasty in it. So I don't know how, how well I trust the rebuild job they did or who did it, but um, I'm just going to run it for now because that's what I got. But I can get a new transmission off of eBay for. Like 870 bucks delivered for anybody that's looking for a transmission, you can find one on there. 42 RLE. It's the two-wheel drive version, but it's just a matter of taking your tail housing off and your output shaft and just putting it on the new transmission. Takes take you 10 minutes. So uh, that's it for this part.